And welcome to Safeco Field this evening. It is the 6 and 6 Mariners taking on the 4 and 8 Houston Astros. Mike Montgomery making his major league debut and it hopes to be a good one as we look at the lineups for the Strohs. Martin Nick Correa and all two would be the front three. Gabbas will be in the fourth spot at cleanup. And here's Mike Montgomery, the rookie, six foot four, two hundred pounds, in his major league debut. Hopefully a good one, as we call from AAA. And let's get to the defensive lineups for the Mariners, as always, brought to you by the Boys and Girls Club of America. Mike Zanino at catcher, Mark Trombo at first base, Cano at second, Kyle Seeger at third, Bloomquist at shortstop, Gutierrez making an appearance at left field for Seth Smith, Austin Jackson, and Nelson Cruz. And it is go time. Jake Muninsic will lead off for the Strohs, batting 150 early, on, early this year. Payoff offering from Montgomery. Fly ball, left center field. Going back, Gutierrez makes the catch. One out. Astros this year are second to last in pitching ERA 4.58. It's one of the records 4 8 for the year of why that is. Batting average dead last. RBI is dead last. So they don't get a lot of runners in scoring position either do the Strohs. As Correa up on the mound, ground ball to Cano, and a flip to Trumbo, two away. Nice D by the Mariners. An opportunity for Seattle to get back above 500 as Jose Altuve stepping up to the plate next. One thing in caution for Montgomery is trying to keep his pitches moderate. And that is a base hit to left center. This will be extra bases. Jackson heading to the wall. And he will throw to Cano. And that will hold him at second. A, a double for Altuve for the Astros' first hit of the game. <coughs> Got enough barrel on the bat to make it happen. And Saxon had a long one to the wall. Second double for the year for Altuve. Evan Gattis to the mound next. The 3-2. And this will do it for the inning. Right field, Cruz. Able to control it and make the grab. Inning complete in the first half of one. We go to the bottom first. Mariners look to get their first run of the game. Look at Lloyd McClendon's starting lineups. And it goes as follows. Willie Bloomquist will be leading off Austin Jackson, Nelson Cruz, Mark Trumbull at cleanup, Ruggiano at the designated hitter position, Kyle Seeker, Gutierrez making another appearance, Cano and Zanino as Brett Obenholzer with a 1-on-1 -on -one record, 6.0 ERA. This will, be a third, third, this will be his third appearance this year. In the meantime, we'll get to you the starting lineups for the visiting Astros and it goes like this Castro at catcher Chris Carter at first base Altuve at second Valbueno at third Correa at shortstop Evan Gattis at left field Marinsnik at center field and Rasmus at right field who is a dangerous hitter for the Astros leading off Bloomquist for the Mariners And the first offer. Breaking ball. Base hit to left field. Nicely done by Bloomquist on the first pitch at bat. You don't see that from him often. To lead off the Mariners. Uh, that one will do it for you. Austin Jackson to the mound next. Willie Bloomquist now on a seven game hit streak himself. Here comes a 2-2 for Jackson. Strike three called. First strikeout of the game for Openholzer. Cruz, three home runs, five runs batted in this year. And a knuckle curve in for strike one. Cruz would have been able to smack that out of the park.
And here comes the 0 1. And a throw out. Stolen base denied for Willie Bloomquist. And to make matters worse, an 0 2 hole now for Cruz. Now the runner's gone. The 0 2. Ground ball. Caught by the second baseman. The throw in time to first. And that will do it for the inning. As the Mariners unable to get a scoring opportunity. Despite Bloomquist with a leadoff single. And a tie game at no score to the second. Welcome back. Back with Marninsic. Top of the third for Montgomery. Pitch 16 in that second inning. So I'm sure he wants to cut that down in this inning. But there's going to be some rookie mistakes though for Montgomery. I mean, you're going to have those off and on. He wants to be a consistent pitcher. He will get there. There's no doubt he will. Strike one for Montgomery. A 2-1 count now. And the 2-1 offer for Meninsnik. 3-1 now. The count. Correa up on deck. The 3-1. And this is launched into left field. That is drilled and gone. Up in the second level on that hit. And the Astros with a 1-0 lead off of Moninsnick's solo home run. Here's the first home run given up by Montgomery. Solo home run for Moninsnick, his first of the year. Carlos Correa 0 for 1. Really hate to have those 1-0 games be a blast to you. And a strikeout for Montgomery, his first big league strikeout. The 1-0 offering. Ground ball to Bloomquist. And a throw not in time to Trombo. He's just pushed out of the bag. An error for Bloomquist. Don't know what Bloomquist was doing. I mean, the throw looked good until Trombo had to step out of the bag. And that is not what the Mariners wanted to do. Fly ball center field. Jackson at the wall makes the grab, and that's the second out for the Mariners defense. Valbuena 0 for 1 tonight, fight out in the second. Ninth home run of the year for the Astros. They are 26th in the majors in that category, so don't get a whole lot of opportunities for drilling out of the park. Cano takes his time and throws to Trumbo for the third out. And now we'll do it. We go to the bottom third as Mardinistic drills his first home run of the year to left field 1-0 Houston. Welcome back, Robinson Cano. No home runs this year. 222 batting average early on. Hopes to make something out of it. And the first offering to Cano in for strike one. It will catch that nicely. Oh, one for Robinson Cano. And a low chopper base hit to right field. First hit for Cano. That's the third hit as a team for Seattle. This date in baseball history, April 20th, 2006. Mets pitcher Julio Franco becomes the oldest major leaguer to hit a home run as a pitch hitter from the Nets at 47 years and 240 days old. Zanino up to the mound next. Nobody opt. And Cano at first base. Bottom third. First pitch to him. Fouled away. 0-1-1. As the marriage just finishing off their first set of the rotation. 0-1. And Zanino pops one high deep to left center field. Some carry gone. A two-run home run for Mike Zanino. And the Mariners have their first lead of the night. 2-1. to one. Oh, yeah. Brett Obenhoser shocked himself 
You normally don't see Mike Zanino drill one of the park very often here in Safeco. But when he has an opportunity, with the count in his favor, he will do it. Willie Bloomquist up that bat next as we look at the replay. It to be a breaking ball there for Mike. His third home run of the year. And his RBI totals up to six for the year. Bloomquist looking to add on to the Mariner run. Nobody out. And a ground ball to third. And the throw in time to first. One out. Boys, and you know, I'm still stunned with... He, he's not much known as a power hitter. More of a contact hitter. But when he's given an opportunity, he can make the most of it. As Jackson to begin the second set of the rotation with one out. Mariners with their 14th home run of the year. Jackson launches this one to right field. That's the second out. Nice play by Rasmus. He thought he had a good opportunity to get that one out of the park. Nelson Cruz up to the mound next. 0 for 1 tonight. Two one Seattle lead and a foul ball for Cruz. The O one and Cruz to right field base hit this time as Rasmus cannot make the play. And Canova, excuse me, Cruz with his first hit of the evening and manager for the Astros, AJ Hinch, will come out to check on Obernholz if he wants to continue. He's given up some hits and that two-run blast from, Gen from Zanino and he will stay in. Mark Trumbo 0 for 1 tonight. Looking to add on to the Mariner run. Two outs. Runner at first. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And here comes the old one. Runner's going to go. And he is out. So Cruz stolen base denied. Mariners tried to get it. But not able to capitalize on it. We go to the top of the fourth. As Zanino crushes a two-run home run to put the Mariners on top by a run. So Mike Montgomery's game is done. Joe Bimo will make his fourth appearance. His ERA high over 13. He would like to cut that in half a little bit if possible. As he'll be facing off against Luis Valbuena. A lefty against a lefty. A little bit of the same arsenal for Bimel. And I'll have the slider in for good measure. Here comes the 0 1 for Bimel. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Montgomery departs with five innings pitched and 1K in his debut. Kyle Seeger on the ground out to Trumbo. One out. Rasmus over two tonight. Fight out and grounded out. Mariners have kept him in check. It's always a good thing to have. Strike one for Bimel. Here comes the 0-1. Slider pushed out. The 1-1. Strike two for Bimel. Back to that four-seamer. The 1-2 pitch. Fly ball into left center field. Jackson with the catch. Beautifully done. Saved the base hit that time from Rasmus. Two outs now. Lowry up at the plate next. Look at that great catch by Jackson at the wall. And he's looking good. 3-1 lead. Let's see if they can keep the rally going. 1-2 and two now for Bimel. With two outs. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Call for Bimel. And now we'll do it. As we have gone through five and a half innings. Pitched. 3-1 Seattle lead. Back in a moment. Welcome back. Austin Jackson over two tonight. Struck out and flied out. 
Did not finish his turn at bat because of a stolen base denied by Bloomquist. Mariners have taken some chances at that. Base hit to right for Jackson. Mariners now starting to add on to the with the bases situation, which is a good thing. I don't think the Mariners may need to go for stolen bases anymore. That's Jackson. With a great swing up the right field line. And AJ Hinch will come out to relieve his pitcher as Oppenheiser's game is done for the Strohs. Eight hits given up and three runs. And onto the mound now is Tony Sip, who will be making his sixth appearance. 2.70 ERA. Seven strikeouts to five walks, ten innings pitched full. As Cruz up at the plate, you can see the arsenal for Sip. And the first offering, strike one for Cruz. And the runner goes Jackson. Breaking ball. And he's safe. Second stolen base for the Mariners. As Jackson gets one. Bloomquist had one in the first inning. Cruz is going to show bunt. And it hit him. So Cruz will get a free pass to first base. Trumbo up at the mound. Trying to add on to the Mariner run. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The 0-2 pitch for Trumbo. Nobody out. Bottom sixth. And a strikeout for the Astros. One away. Ruggiano up at the mound next. Looking to get his first home run of the year. Or a base hit, to say the least. Swing and a miss for Ruggiano on the slider 0-1. Cruz at, at first base, Jackson at second. The 0-1 outside, 1-1. One one. We've seen nothing but lefty pitchers in this game on both ends. 1-1 one, one to count. And a base hit to right. Jackson's going to go to home. And Cruz will go to third. RBI for Ruggiano. And the Mariners with a 4-1 lead. Second RBI of the year for Justin Ruggiano. Base hit up the right field line again. Plenty of air space as Rasmus did not make the play in his normal spot. He's, it seems like every hit the Mariners have drawn have been in the right field mark. And now Cruz is at third base. Kyle Seeger pops one high. And this will be the second out. Will the runner go? The runner will go to home. And the play at the plate, not in time. As Cruz was denied of a run score. Mike Zanino, two for two game for Mike. And back in the fifth, delivered a home run. A solo to right field to extend the Mariner lead. A 1-4-3 on that play. And a 4-1 Seattle lead and a strike called. So I think for Gutierrez, no need to steal third at this rate. The 0-1 as outside. One ball, one strike. So Nino trying to make it a three-hit game. He's never hit three home runs on three at-bats in his career. And a base hit to left. That's going to score at home for an RBI double. And Zanino safe at second. Four RBI game for Mike Zanino. Three for three game and a 5-1 Mariner lead. Boy, Zanino. How about Zanino? Kept that ball fair in the left field line. RBI double for Zanino. And Willie Bloomquist looking to add on to the hit run or hit clinic. And a foul ball away. Owen won the count. Two for three game for Willie Bloomquist. And Bloomquist pops one to right field. Rasmus make, cannot make the catch. And uh, they'll hold. So a three hit game. 
for Willie Bloomquist. And he thought about going to third and said he should stay put. Austin Jackson to the mound next. But before we go to him, Joe Thatcher will come in with his sixth appearance. This is the fourth different pitcher used by the Astros. 1.93 ERA. Chad calls in the bullpen the righty pitcher. As Jackson up to be at bat. First pitch to him. Austin Jackson, the left field. Caught two outs. Boy, Jackson wanted to. He wanted to keep that streak going with the hit clinic. Denied. Nelson Cruz, one for two tonight. Single back in the third. And a 5-1 Mariner lead. Bottom seven, two man on base. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle, snagged by the second baseman. Altuve to Correa, and that will do it for the seventh inning shred. Zanino, have yourself a ball game, young man. 5-1 Mariners, we go to the eighth. Carson Smith entering his fifth appearance this year. Luis Balbena over three tonight, grounded out in the sixth. And for the first time all game, we're gonna see a righty in action. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Call for Smith. One down. Kobe Rasmus 0 for 3 tonight. Flight out in the sixth. And the 0-2 offering. Strike three. Call for Smith. Two down. It's all up now to Jed Lowry to finish to keep the game alive for the Astros. First pitch to him from Smith. Strike one. The 0-1 from Smith. Fouled 0-2. Let's see if Smith can put a nail in the coffin here. 14,316 on hand. The 0-2 pitch from Smith popped up for Zanino. And the ball game is over. Mariners win 5-1 the final. A huge one for Seattle as they now improve to 7-6 this year they are now four and three on the homestand shows dropped to four and nine this year and one and three on the road